I went to Mobile World Congress in March this year, I was telling people that I thought that NFV transformation would take about 10 years because that's the typical length of time it takes for a far-reaching and disruptive technology to become really mainstream and, and embedded. But such was the pace of development that I saw at MWC that you know, I completely changed my mind. I thought, no, this is going to take more like five years. Um, and we've recently done some research uh, for uh, Brocade, a survey in which 41% of the respondents told us that uh, they are increasing their sense of urgency uh, around NFV transformation. And 27% of those respondents say that fast deployment of NFV is critical to their business success. So these are significant numbers and really uh, support the findings, my findings at, at MWC, that uh, NFV transformation is something that is not just talk, that there's, there's a lot of action behind it. Now, the research, although the research shows that a lot of uh, operators are still concerned about the uh, cost of deploying NFV and also about the lack of a business case. There's also significant interest in the agility that NFV can deliver and particularly network agility. The ability for operators to manage their resources better and to scale their capacity without having to add physical boxes. And the top three NFV use cases that the survey revealed, the virtual CPE, uh, virtual managed services and virtual EPC also shows that uh, operators are looking at NFV as a way of delivering the a next wave of uh, business revenues. So very much overall an endorsement uh, for the, uh, the, from the industry for the fact that NFV is here, it's happening and it's important.